We're going to start with a basic structure. We're going to have a home page and a profile page. The home page will just have a link to the profile as well as a login link that we will fix later. And the profile will just have a login link. There are some cases where you need to use a query parameter to show a modal on a page and also have it be a route that can be linked to from any page and show above the page that it's currently on. Now let's take a look at what it actually takes to render a modal inside of React. The first thing we're going to look at is the modal root. So we've added this additional div as a location that we can render any of our modals from Create Portal. Create Portal is imported from React DOM, and it allows us to render and have the appropriate bubbling of anything that is inside of our children and still bubble up through React correctly. Now, the one point is that we need to render it at a different location, and so that location is our modal root, which we just showed that we added. Now, we pass in our modal style and an on click so that when the backdrop is clicked that we can close it. Uh, and then just pass any sort of arbitrary children. So anything that we pass into this modal uh, will render uh, fixed above whatever is currently on the page. This is not a very accessible modal, so I'd recommend using another modal component, but this does the job for us right now to display how to show a route as a modal with a query parameter. So now to add in our route that is a login page modal, we're going to actually create it outside of the switch here. The switch says only render one of these that matches. However, when we render a route with a path, anytime that that path is matched, that route will render. But because we don't really care about what route is rendering and we only care about the query param and we want this to always re-render any time that the URL changes, we're going to render this outside of our switch. And you can do this anywhere with any route. So we can render a route here and we'll give it the path of slash, which just means anytime it matches anything in the URL, this route will render. And then we'll give it a component and we'll say login page. And we'll create that here in a second. But essentially, this is just always going to re-render this login page component. So now this login page component can look for if there's a query parameter in the URL and render above our other routes here. Let's create our login page modal now. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is import modal from the modal component that we made. This gives us the ability to now render uh, any particular content as a modal. So we'll render modal. And then we can render some content in here. I've already got some content created. It just displays as flex and centers anything and creates a height of 100% and just says login modal. Then, because we want to be able to click on the backdrop to close this, we're going to need to add our on click to our modal. Just say on click. And then we can execute something. And because this is a route from React Router, we get access to all of the routing calls that we need. So we get access to this.props.history push. So we'll write out this.props.history push, which will push a new route. And then because we're going to be very generic and we're going to be sitting on any page possible, we need to reference the current location. So we'll say this.props.location.pathname. What this is going to do is it's going to look basically at the URL path name and ignore any sort of query parameters after, after it. And we will navigate to that particular route. So that will just basically be the route we're sitting on. We won't use the match.url because the match.url is provided by React Router. And that's going to be essentially the reference to what is here. So our match URL will always be a slash. And if we're on the profile page, it would be slash profile. But we want to know what's actually in the URL itself. And we do that with a location path name. Now we need to get access to the query parameters itself. So we can use something that's called new URL search params. Now this is supported by most browsers, uh, but not all browsers. And it will parse the query parameters 
into a map that you can actually look up. So we'll then pass in our this.props.location.search, which is the search portion of the URL, which is often the query parameters. And we'll just assign that to params. Now we can use the get method on our params and look for a particular query param to render this modal. So in our case, we'll say params.get, and we'll look for the query parameter login. And if we have it, if it's any sort of truthy value, then we will render our modal. Otherwise, this will return undefined, and this route won't render anything. And finally, we now need to fix the URLs on the home and profile page that link to login. So the to property usually takes a string, but can also take pieces of a path and assemble the URL for you. So in our case, because we want a sort of generic URL, we can give it a path name that references the current match URL because that's the route that we're currently on. So we'll say this.props.match.url. And then additionally, because we know that the query parameter for the search portion of the URL that we're looking for is called login, we'll say search and then just give it a login equals true. Now we can do the same thing on the profile page because we haven't hard coded anything to be the home page or the profile page. And now if we go check this out in the browser, we have our go to profile and our login and we can see that when we click on our login, it adds the query parameter and now our login modal is rendering and we can click on the backdrop and it closes and goes back to our slash. If we go to our profile and click login, we can see now it's profile and login true, and we have our backdrop that we can click again and go right back to our profile.